here with another quick lesson. This lesson is going to be real brief, not too long, just straight to the point. Um, first and foremost, before we get into it, we want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salute and peace to all the brothers out there pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Uh, pretty much, this is just another response, you know, to uh, that Captain Tazariak video. You know, brother came out with a testimony on how that that man, you know, I call him Slim Thug, but um, <laughs> he, uh, you know, it turns out that this guy was a secret disciple of, of Great Millstone. You know, this guy learned certain breakdowns from from uh, brothers in GMS years ago, and now this dude is perpetrating like he uh like ISUPK taught him everything he know. No, but let, let's say it like this. He he admitted it from what I from what we understand. It, 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 the truth is the truth, and and yeah. it's not. We're not even saying it in a negative way, because it's a beautiful thing that you learn the truth from the from the source. It's fucked up, like the apostle was saying that somebody was in Great Millstone and then pushed him away from Great Millstone, which mm -hmm. was kind of stupid. Right. But he still had the, the spirit dealt with him enough to let him get those breakdowns in the way you teach from Great Millstone. You know, right. from, from where from where the, the, the real truth is at. Right, right. You know, so I mean in you know, like it's still it ain't just cause you with ISUPK or, or IUIC or whatever other doctrine you may be in right now, that doesn't mean that the spirit doesn't want you to be within the truth. Because it ain't about Great Millstone, it's just about being in the, the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yah Sha. So the truth, yeah, right. the truth. Um, pretty much, um, it's, um, Mark seven and twenty six about the Syrophoenician woman. You know that that came out that uh, you still teach that that woman in particular was a, a, a actual heathen, a, a Canaanite when she wasn't uh, a Canaanite. And just to be real brief, you know, we're going to touch on it real quick, just for mm -hmm. edification purposes. Because, you know, when you in this word, man, little leaven and leaven at the whole lump, man. Mm -hmm. you, you, can, you can break down all the scriptures, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and get most of your breakdowns right. But if you break down something, one thing wrong, that's, that's leaven right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, ain't, we, ain't, we ain't supposed to operate like that. You're supposed to have all of it, man. Not just most of it. You're supposed to have it all. So we're supposed to, you know what I'm saying, as a body, we're supposed to, you know, tighten that up. Yeah, that's why we correct everything. Mm -hmm. You know, right. that, that if you about 50, you know, if you just off a little bit, we're going to make sure that we correct you. That's why we go, we go through patrolling the whole net, man, correcting everything. We do, that's, that's what we're supposed to do. We make sure the truth get pushed out through the spirit of y'all by shot through this word, man. Get yeah. pushed out. Yeah. You know, we correct everybody and everything for, for the purpose of truth. Right. You know? And that and that's a sign of, of where the wisdom is really at. The understanding and breakdowns of this word is really at. And who the spirit is dealing with. That's right. So, um, go into it. without further ado, we're just going to go straight into it and just be brief with it. So, go ahead and get it, bro. This is uh, Mark 7 and 24. It says, And from thence he arose and went into the borders of Tyre and Zidon mm -hmm. and entered into the into an house and would have no man know it, but he could not be hid. Mm -hmm. It says, For a certain woman whose daughter, whose young daughter, had an unclean spirit, heard of him and came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Phoenician by nation, and she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. Now, uh, a lot of, you know what I'm saying, I'm pretty sure our brothers that have been making responses to it and already then broke this down, yeah. but just, you know what I'm saying, just so we, we all on the same accord and we all put it out there, man. That's actually a simple breakdown, man. It's easy. That's, that's real easy. And if you if you know your uh, about your maps and all that, like that you would be able to pinpoint all of that, man. Mm -hmm. Now Tyre and Zidon, that that was all that's all part of the land of uh, Canaan, man. Canaan and uh and, and Syria. Mm -hmm. Now around this time, um, this was during the Roman Empire, but you still had uh, people under the the Hellenistic uh, influence in that region. 
I even can't. though the Romans were ruling that that land at the time. Keep speaking. I'm a, I'm gonna show on Go my sword. Yes, you can see up here by my thumb. This is Phoenicia right there, Tyre and Zidon right there. Mm -hmm. Syria, it's right there. Mm -hmm. See it? Just on the map, just to give it some uh, a place on the map for you to understand. Okay. It's right there in northern Israel. Right there in northern Israel. So, um, if you would read that, see that that's a stumbling block. You see, like, oh, so she was a Greek, but she was also a Syrophoenician by nation. So. People, you know what I'm saying? It's it's simple to, to to learn, but if you uh, if you don't understand it and you simple, you'll either say that she was a, a Edomite or she was a Hamite. When that's not the case, not with this, that's not the case. I just thought about something, bro. It's like right. it's like this in America, right? How many of you New Yorkers live in New Jersey or Connecticut? That's the, just mm -hmm. that simple. It's just that simple. Mm -hmm. But you still consider yourself a New Yorker, you know? Oh, how many? Right there. Or how many? Uh, um. Benjamin, uh, no, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Levi. How many Haitians that are in uh, 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 Miami, but they speak American, but back at the in their land mm -hmm. they speak French, mm -hmm. but they live in a, a, a different province, huh? but they're taking on uh, uh, American customs and speaking English, mm -hmm. but but they're from their their nation is in Haiti, which we know. Is the the children of Levi, mm -hmm. and the Levi are the priests, and they're supposed to speak Hebrew. That's the original language. Jacob is, is is in a uh, heathenistic state right now. Right. They're they're Gentiles now, just like they were back then on the, when when the Lord was on the scene. Mm -hmm. But they were Israelites. They were just in a Gentile state of mind. This woman in particular, she was a a, a Hella, she was Hellenized. She was a Hellenist. When you look that up in the Greek, uh, the word there for Greek. It's Hellenist, mm -hmm. and, and, and it's a female. It's a female uh, woman who took on the practice of the of the Greeks. And it's, it's just and it's just a female, a feminine uh, uh, way to put Helen. Helen. That's Helen. all it is. And if you know what the word Helen means, it's just um, someone that takes on another nation's. But usually, a Jake that takes on a Jew, it would say it takes on another nation's uh, customs mm -hmm. and language, and you know, and lives in another in another land. That's right. And she didn't even see the thing is she she was she thought she was Greek because she she took on the Greek customs who ruled that land at the time, but she lived in Syria or Phoenicia, which was a was on the um the the, uh, the coast right there. Mm -hmm. You know, but her spirit and her line goes all the way back to the to the um to, to Israel. Israel. Right. And see if y'all don't if y'all don't understand the confusion of faces and the brother Daniel sent that confusion of faces thing a little mm -hmm. while back. But if y'all don't understand the confusion of faces that Jake is scattered throughout all the four corners of the earth looking like other nations, then you ain't going to understand this simple breakdown. That's right. You have to first understand and believe in that first because it's, it's easily broken down. The scripture has been broken down time after time with the olive branch and, and all those other types of things. And, you know, going into uh, Romans 11 and all of that. Mm -hmm. So just to, not to go into it, but just to say, if you don't believe it, then you're not going to see it. You know, read read it again, bro. And let's just chop it down. Verse twenty six. Yeah. It says, "Uh, the woman was a Greek. Okay, she was a Helen. Mm hmm. A Syrophoenician by nation. She was a citizen of Tyre and Zidon, which happened to be yes. Syria oh. and, and uh, Phoenicia. Phoenicia. Uh, Phoenicia. Mm hmm. And they were those lands were brought together under the um the Persian Empire. Yep. As, as one land, and then uh, and then when the Greek, Greeks took it over, it was their land. Then when Rome took them over, it was one land also, still and, one land. And, 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 and Israel just, was taken over at that time by them and, also. Exactly. I got some on this uh, site. It's uh, timemaps.com, the history of uh, of Syria, and I'm gonna scroll down. So it was a little information on there that I, you know, was reading that I caught. Um, pretty much. Uh, let me get to it. The rise of the Roman Empire after the Greeks. It says Syria was one of the most important provinces in the Roman Empire. It was governed by a very senior official responsible not for only maintaining law and order in the province and other civil duties, but also for commanding an 
an army of three or four legions, most of the native rulers were gradually retired and their, reti their territories brought under the direct authority of Rome to cope with this administratively. Judea and Arabia became separate Roman provinces and in 196 BC... Wait, but, but let me say, but they're both Roman provinces though. They're yep. just separated. Yep. They're still under the control of Rome. Yep. Okay. And in 196, the, the province of Syria itself was divided into two. Syria uh, Coeli and Syria Phoenice. Mm -hmm. Phoenice, uh, same, same. which is which in turn is Syro Phoenicia, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I I read a little more. It says under Roman rule, the inhabitants of Syria experienced a long period of peace and prosperity. Roman Syria boasted many magnificent cities, major uh, centers of trade and industry. Above all. Antioch was one of the largest cities in the empire with a population probably in the region of 200,000 vast at that time. The culture of the upper classes in the cities remained Hellenistic mm -hmm. with the Latin culture of the Roman rulers making little headway. Syrian cities were also important culture centers with uh, schools of rhetoric, law, and medicine. You know? So you still had, even though they were under the That's Roman how you rule, people too. they still had Hellenistic ways. They was it was still Greeks, mm -hmm. pretty much, you know. There's still the, the residuals of Greeks living there. So this woman, you know, what I'm saying she was still under the influence of the Greeks, mm -hmm. but she was living during the time of the Roman Empire, and she happened to be in that land where they were still holding the Hellenistic practice, but under Roman, uh, under a Roman. Pro, uh, province, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So we can conclude that she was an Israelite because the Lord wouldn't have went to this woman if she wasn't. She she uh, well Salaki she would have he would have healed this woman's daughter if she was a heathen because the Lord was not dealing with heathens. You got to remember, mm -hmm. the Lord told his his disciples and and his his twelve apostles that. When you go out, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. Don't go into the ways of the heathen, the actual heathens. Don't go to them. This is for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. She was a lost sheep because how was she lost? She was Hellenized. You know? Mm -hmm. She was supposed to be in the, in, in the circumcision, but she wasn't. Yeah. I'm going to finish reading down. It says, uh, verse 27, it says, But Yahweh Shai said unto her, let the children first be filled, for it is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it unto the dogs. Mm -hmm. Was what's meant to be for Israel. It's not meant to give that to the other people. But he was throwing a uh, he was throwing a little snide remark at her to see if she if she understood who she really was. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and he said, well, "You are, you are, you believe you a heathen. So do you do? Am I supposed to help you? Because I'm sent for the lost sheep. Are you." You believe you're a heathen. You don't even stay in Israel, do? Am I supposed to deal with you? Mm -hmm. And she said, and and she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord. Yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. Like just just help me out, cause I'm one of them too. I don't know it. I'm so far away from you that I don't know it. But I am still up under the table. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm still. I, I believe and we're still one of them. And what she said was a was a sign of uh, hum, uh, humility. humility. Yeah. You know, she was, and she was, yeah, she had, she showed her faith and humility at the same time when she said that statement and the Lord already, he already knew. And, 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 and the heathen don't have that. Mm -hmm. Let's be clear about that part. The heathen don't have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh So That's right. they're not going to even be following him to ask him for a blessing, let alone uh, require one of him like they could possibly get help from him. They weren't dealing with him like that. Not until Jake started complaining and, and the, 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 the scribes and Pharisees started really complaining about it. That's when Rome stepped in and did what they did to Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll finish it up in 29. It says, And he said unto her, For this saying, go thy way. The devil is gone out of thy daughter. And when she was come to her house, she found uh, the devil gone out and her daughter laid upon the bed. Go to the other account. 
And Matthew 15. Right. 15, 15 21, uh, I think. Yeah. 15 and, uh, I think, 21. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, right here. Uh, Matthew 15, 21. Then Yahweh went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan mm -hmm. came out of so the same So over here, coast. saying that she's Canaan. Mm -hmm. You know, so. That's from way back. That's right, so, back. so if you read both stories, you can't be conflicted because that's there's no confliction there. Mm -hmm. The reason why I said she was a, a, a woman of Canaan was because that's, that's our land, Jerusalem, all that area was pretty much considered the land of Canaan. And before, it always before, been the land we, of Canaan. Before we was uh, made it Israel, when we mm -hmm. moved in there, it was the land of unknown, the land of Canaan. Mm -hmm. You know, that's right. And like like for instance, Simon the uh, the Canaanite, we know he was an Israelite, but he had the, the title of Simon the, the, the Canaanite, man. You know? Whatever land that you resided at, you was referred to as that uh, a person of that uh, of that land. Even but, though it's but, supposed to be the other way, right, right. Exactly, you know? But the names the, the lands got named before before yeah. uh before this time period. So now yeah. you usually in that land you of that people. Yep. And so they were naming. They begin to name. And see, that's that all happened back with the Greeks, man. When they start, they start fucking up everything, mm -hmm. switching up the way things were supposed to be, and the, and, the, and the evils multiplied throughout the earth back in the Maccabees. And we'll we'll, we'll touch that real quick after okay. after this. It says, uh, and and behold, a woman of Canaan, I mean of that land, came out of the same coast, and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Hey, how does she know that? Right. How does she know that he was the son of David? How does you know? she know? How does she know, how does she that, know he that the Lord? Yeah, exactly. How does she know that? Go ahead, bro. It says, but he answered her not in a word. <laughs> and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. Hey, they didn't catch that. <laughs> right. The disciples didn't even catch that too. The Lord didn't say anything right there. Mm-hmm. Right? Go ahead. It says, But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I'm only sent to Jake. You know? Mm -hmm. Are you a heathen or, or, or are you, which, you know, just like the, the point she, you was making uh, see before? See if she knew. Yeah. Well, you know? Because I'm, I'm sent to the, to the lost sheep. Right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, then, she came, then, then came she and worshipped him. No, no, he didn't worship you in your house shy in that day and age. No. It says, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it to the dogs. And that's a stumbling block for them churches, man, saying that the, G the Gentiles, the, uh, that's, a, that's a stumbling block of confusion mm -hmm. for you simple minds and for them, um, for, the, for like the churches to say that anybody can get in and Esau can make it and all that, that BS, man. That's and, then, and this you. is and this yeah this is a scripture that they would use mm -hmm. to justify uh, the he heathens is. making it right you both know? of these same accounts yeah so but you guys as that call yourself Israelites you stumbling off of the same thing man to Zar Yak and, and you other groups that's, that that teach that this woman was a a, a, a heathen you go you, you going off just like the Christians are it's too easy to to fit your understanding to what the scripture says versus Fitting what you think you should understand into what the scripture says. Mm -hmm. Just fit you to it, man, and it don't contradict itself. So with that guideline, you should be it shouldn't be that difficult. Then when you do the research to study to show thyself approved unto the most high, it's, it it reveals itself to you as wisdom does. That's right. Good. It says, uh, then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to the dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. And she referred to him as her master, as of their master's table. Mm -hmm. Then Yahweh answered and said unto her, O woman, great is, thy, great is thy faith, be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Yep. Because the Lord saw her humility, man, and, and her faith, faith. Yep. first and foremost, man. Just like that uh, that Roman centurion, man, yep. when he said, I found no uh, faith. greater faith in Israel, mm -hmm. 
he wasn't talking about he wasn't distinguishing the fact that that Roman uh, centurion wasn't an Israelite. He was just saying, I ain't seen such faith mm -hmm. in Israel. You know what I'm saying? I'm dealing with a lot of faithless uh, uh, niggas. Every, everywhere I go, it's a lot of faithless ass niggas, you know. But but this centurion, you know, this this centurion right here got more faith than you than you mm -hmm. niggas are supposed to know better. And see, if y'all get tripped up with the whole Cornelius thing, and, and you get tripped up with the lady, thing of this lady, are you tripped up with the centurion that he was a Jake? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you shouldn't like this is easy stuff, man. You shouldn't be tripped up with that, you know. You shouldn't be tripped up with that. Mm -hmm. Um, did you want? I want to go into that right quick. Yeah, bring it up. Go ahead. And yeah, go ahead. basically, um, this is just a show to do a little bit of history through the scriptures in the uh, first Maccabees about how um, when when the when the ordinances were changing and our people became Hellenists, right? Yeah. Like uh, like Tim. Oh, mm -hmm. it's a lot. Like Timothy's father. Timothy was mm -hmm. father was a Greek. So that, does that mean that uh, he wasn't a Jake? He, he wasn't a he wasn't a Jake. Timothy wasn't Timothy. a Jake because yeah. his father was a Greek. So no. you go through the father. Exactly. No. No. It's, it's, it's that easy. Like hey, it's, yeah. it takes the spirit and some extrapolation to, to fully understand these scriptures. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, this is First Maccabees chapter one, verse forty one. Moreover, King Antiochus uh, wrote to his whole kingdom. Now, part of his whole kingdom was Tyre and Zidon, Phoenicia, Cyril, Phoenicia, the Salute, Greece, the, the Seleucid, whole Seleucid, and uh, Ptolemy. Yeah, he came out of the, uh, the Seleucid dynasty, and the Seleucid dynasty had the the, the, uh, the northern part mm -hmm. of the region, which uh, was under, uh, which you had, you know, our land, then you had uh, Tyre, Zidon. Because mm -hmm. the line was pretty much the north, of north and south Greek uh, empires yep. was, uh, was pretty much drawn right at the north and south kingdom of, of Israel. Yep. You know? And then you had, uh, you know, the Ptolemaic dynasty, which ruled the southern part of mm -hmm. Egypt on down. Uh, Egypt back up to... Um, yeah, 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 Salak. Egypt yeah. back up to, to uh, southern Israel. Mm -hmm. And then the, the line crossed over to the Seleucid, which Antiochus was part of Seleucid. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, moreover, King Antiochus, verse 41 in the first Maccabees, the first chapter, it says, moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people, yep. and everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Mm -hmm. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. That just shows that the whole kingdom was involved in, in, in changing uh, uh, Jake into Helen, you know, to follow those Greek customs. And I mean, I mean, we can keep going. If brothers really want to read, uh, read more, you know, read that first Maccabees chapter, and you'll see the history of how it went down, how they changed it, and they threatened our people with, uh, with killing them if they didn't switch over. Mm -hmm. You know, so that that was just to show that his whole kingdom was in that whole area also. If you do the so history, he, he pretty much forced uh, Hellenism mm -hmm. by way of the sword. Cause you know how Esau get down. Yep. You know, if, if you don't get down with his, uh, like in today, if you don't get down with his democracy, yeah. you're going to find a reason to, to, to come into your land and, and try to uh, take pillage you, take mm -hmm. take your land, you take know. Take your resources. Take your resources. And, and, and push his. And his. Put, it, put his, his democracy right there. Yeah. You know. So it was the same thing with them that was back then. And that's how our, a lot of our people, they ended up uh, becoming heathens, man. Yeah. You know. But this woman in particular, man, she was in the heathen state of mind, but she was an Israelite. And that was the point that the Lord was trying to make when he healed uh, her daughter. Mm -hmm. He took that unclean spirit off her daughter and saw that she had faith. And that was what the whole thing was about with the whole Gentile thing, the whole yeah. Israelite foreigner thing. He was pre he, Paul, The Lord sent Paul to teach them that as of now, it's not just about the law. Your faith is what gets you in the door. Mm -hmm. Right now is your grace for you to actually get right and come back to your nationality. That's right. You know. So you know that that's it on that. You know we hopefully we we'll, because we want to make it brief. Sometimes right. it, it happens. Spirit, you know the spirit going, is right. let more come out. But you know that was just the point. If you really you know? like it, bro, because this could easily uh, run into some hours. If you want to really get right. deep get into deep. it. We can run into some hours, but it's not it's not necessary. We we already this stuff that we 
been been taught and you know, we can break that we've been breaking down through tests and whatever else through all this time. And if you actually watch most of these brothers' short videos and put them all together, you'll get the full understanding. Brothers have brought out deep uh, parts of the history on the internet, Wikipedia, and, and, and you know, Blue Letter, and, and broke all this stuff down. But I mean, most of this, like this account in particular, is pretty straightforward. Anything past, uh, if you don't get it, anything past the Blue Letter, it's a, it, you, you got a problem. That's you right. know, you, something's not right about you. You need to, you, just, you know. And I'm, I'm not trying to say anything about brothers, but just saying, like, this isn't that difficult. The, like I was saying, the more, the more intriguing part to me was about the, uh, when, he, when he called her a dog and, and she answered about being the dog being under the table. You know, we understand that the bread, the dog's, uh, the children's bread, the children are, are Israel, the children's bread is this word that was meant for Israel only, right? And the dogs are the heathen nations. But he called her a dog because she thought she was... Uh, of the heathen nations, but she was actually following him as, like an Israelite would, you know, mm -hmm. so that to me is the more intriguing part to, uh, to get a, a better level of spiritual understanding about it, yep. you know? And, she, and that statement that she made, is all, it also correlates with uh, when the Lord was speaking that parable about the, uh, the beggar Lazarus, mm -hmm. you know, not the, you know, we ain't got to go into that, nah. we're about to close up, but... You know, when that's, she said what she said, what they, yeah. what she said, and it correlates with that story. It was something spiritual about that. Mm -hmm. You know, Our crumbs and dogs. Yep. So, hey, man, that's that spiritual things. You know, that belonging unto the Most High, man. Only for Israel, man. Not no damn heathens. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, Captain Tazaria, you stand to be corrected if that's what you really teaching. And that's and that's and, and I should be careful. You need to wake up to yeah. the clowns over there, man. And and, and that's and, and we, we this is and believe it or not, man, this is out of love, man. This ain't this ain't just to call you out and hey, hey, you know, be, man, you know, if you offended by something that simple, then and we don't want you over here anyway. Mm -hmm. But this is just to correct you, so now you understand the real understanding of it, as we supposed to correct our people with the real understanding. It's like it's Johanna and Nate and all of them that don't want to get it. Yep. You know, and, you and, and the from, black unconscious movement. So you better, hey, get get from around them, man, or and, and repent, or because you pretty much you gonna be out of there along with them guys. They, they starving you out over there. Yeah, they supposed to be feeding you. They, they, they starving y'all out over there. over there, man. So with that, you know, um, we are gonna close out. You know, um, of course, all praise and glory due to Yahweh by Shem Shah and double honors to the apostles and elders of, of Great Millstone. You know, peace and salute to all you brothers out there pushing this word. And with that, we're going to close up. Shalom.